Well, it's fitting that I'm already in my pajamas for this video because that is exactly what we're gonna make today, pajamas. Much like the pillowcase, this is the other tradition that goes along with Christmas Eve in my family. So last year, you saw me make Marty's pajama pants, which I actually have with me. We're gonna touch base with those today. And then I'm gonna make two more pairs of pajama pants this year. I've got my mom's pajama pants and I've got Marty's pajama pants for this year. So in addition to golf, he very much likes space. So I found this fabric. It was a nice little hint of space without being too overly in your face. And then his pants from last year, have been worn as you can see but they also need a little TLC let me find it his washing machine ate them so what I'm also gonna do is fix that hole and then he asked me to turn them into capris because um, I think I made them a little too long his inseam isn't quite as long as mine um, I'm 5'11", not that you can tell that from the screen, but my height is in my legs for sure, and apparently his is not. So we marked them, and so he asked me to cut them off about that much, so we're going to cut them off, and then I'm going to make his pair this year a regular length instead of the extended length like I did last year, so that maybe next year's pants we can figure out which fit to compare them to, the Capri golf pants or the regular length space pants. So I'm gonna get these all laid out. This fabric here is directional. So I have to cut this one in half and then put them right sides together. So then all the cats will go the right way. I'll have to look and see if this one's directional or not. I really haven't looked at it since I bought it. So I'm gonna go get to work and I'm sure Trixie over here is gonna join me because she loves fabric on the floor.
So now this year's pants just need elastic and a button on the front to mark it. And now it's on to figuring out how to repair those golf pants. So here are not just one, but the two, three holes that we're working with. So while we're here, let this be a PSA about uh, quality fabric because these pants didn't even last a year, which is a super bummer. Um, I don't even know if they last six months. They've been around my house with a hole in them for quite some time now, but this is why you buy some quality fabric for your quilts, people. So you don't end up like this. Crazy. I don't know whether I'm going to stabilize or just zigzag. I don't know. These Franken pants. Maybe I'll just find new fabric and make a new version of these next year. But for now, I think I might... I don't know what I might do. Ugh. Well, it's not pretty, but at least there's not a gaping hole in it. So now I'm gonna go put the elastic in the other two and then all the pants will be done. And just like that, two pairs of pants are done and one pair of pants are redone. They sure aren't the prettiest things in the world, but at least these ones are done. And I'm excited to get these all wrapped up in their pillowcase packaging and get them ready for Christmas Eve Eve, which is tomorrow, which feels so crazy that it's already here. We're coming up and it's going to be over as soon as it gets here. So two thumbs up for pajama pants. And you know what, let's see what Trixie thinks now that they're no longer big pieces of fabric.